Yahoo blocking adblock, plants getting an electronic makeover, devices charging from Wi-Fi, and doctors perform surgery while using virtual reality. These are today's bits. Yahoo is trying something new now in effort to combat users who run Adblock. Of course, we all know and understand that running Adblock does limit the content creator or provider's ability to generate revenue, which in turn pays for said content. However, when a user is constantly interrupted by full page obnoxious ads all the time, they're hardly left with any other choices. Yahoo's new approach is to straight up block access to people's email. People who try to log in through the webmail while running Adblock are greeted with a friendly little screen, kindly asking them to disable the extension. Right now, this is not in complete market rollout as Yahoo is only testing this new method on a small percentage of people. But if it does prove to be effective and the users don't just jump ship and stop using Yahoo Mail altogether, then you could probably expect this, this to be implemented for everyone else. Which, as a side note here, I thank all of my viewers who watch my videos without ad block. I don't make that much money from ads, but every little bit helps, so I do thank you for it. Scientists have developed a way to mix electronics with plants. A new method founded in Sweden uses a bunch of fancy words and scientific stuff to actually mix a highly conductive polymer inside of a flower. Don't worry, as usual, we can find out more in the links in the description. But the point is to regulate growth and chemical processes inside the plant while exploring the possibility to harness photosynthesis to create new types of solar cells. So maybe the next flower garden going in next door could actually be used to power the home. Who knows? Speaking of power, how cool would it be to be able to power or charge your devices using the available Wi-Fi signal in your house? Well, engineers from the University of Washington have come up with a new way to do just that. Creatively called Power Over Wi-Fi, the new system can draw from the available one watt of power that exists from standard Wi-Fi routers and turn it into a usable power supply without hindering the performance of the Wi-Fi signal. Now, most phones need about five watts to charge, but they were able to charge a Jawbone Up24 41% in about two and a half hours. Now all I need is to install our Wi-Fi on our plants and we can get free power and internet from the flower garden next door. Virtual reality has now been used to clear a patient's blocked coronary artery. During a surgery, they actually used a display to map out and locate the blockage, allowing them to navigate through the body and complete the treatment. While it's not as cool as like a full-on remote surgery through VR or internet or anything, it still paves the way for some new forms of treatment. As you can imagine, navigating through a patient's body with little to no indication of exactly where you are could be a little bit difficult and it could also lead to complications. A bonus story today includes a new handheld torch created by the US Air Force that burns stuff at 5,000 degrees. Its purpose being primarily for breaching doors, windows, or barricades. It's small enough to be attached to someone's hip and looks a lot like a lightsaber. All right, that's all for today. I'm gonna go get this edited and continue playing Fallout 4 because I might be a little addicted. So, like and subscribe. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>